All right. We have the Princess of Winter on the bottom. All right. <laughs> Let the truth be told. Let the truth be told. All right. All right. <laughs> um. So we got some different stuff here um, from um, your pre-shuffle. So let me just talk about that. But I do see your pre-shuffle here. Um, yeah, some of you guys are setting off um, trying to start a business or something, like a new business. Some of you all um, are going back to school to do this or... Um, learning some type of new skill or something to do this um Aries yeah and it looks as though here like there has been like a change in focus Aries for you or somebody else here to cause all this to happen um yeah I see like a relationship breakup that caused somebody's um focus here to change on something yeah sometimes the ending of something the ending of something okay the breakdown of something um the ending of work projects love but some type of breakdown has happened up here um for a lot of you, this is work. For a lot of you, this is work here on this table. A lot of love came up in your um, pre-shuffle reading. But for a lot of you guys, Aries, there has been a breakdown of some type of a work structure here. And you have had to recalibrate here and begin again. Okay. Um... Some of you may even be indecisive about which way that you want to go at this time um, because feelings are in the air, thoughts are in the air, or you are just juggling um, things like weighing the pros and the cons of things here. Like, which way do I want to go? What is it that I want to do? Again, what is it that I want to do? Which way is it that I want to go? I have I have decisions to make now because this has happened in my life, in my relationship, in my job, in my project. Something has happened, so now I have to decide which way am I going to go. Currently, some of you all are standing still on that, okay? You are trying to figure out. Some of you... Or you just you're just trying to pull creativity out of a damn hat this week <laughs> and figure out how is it that you are going to get what it is that you want, get what it is that you need because of this change in direction here. Okay. I feel like Aries, you will get it done here. As long as you communicate those needs, because behind the princess of winter, we had a magician here. You, 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 you have, you have all the resources, okay, to get this done, okay. You will be able to, uh oh, you will be able to juggle this situation. Finances look like it may be hard for a little while for some of you all. Um, right here with the fourth autumn behind that. Okay, and then there go the love that well, this necessarily don't have to be love, but this uh is the ten of swords on the situation that popped off, which I can see up here something right here happened with this ten of swords energy that caused the breakdown in some type of a project, situationship, or whatever, and it really just stopped these ships on the water from coming in, okay? It stopped the ships on the water from, from coming in, okay? So, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot going on right here this week, Aries. But um, let me see here. 
Yep, the bottom line here on the table is that whatever has happened, now someone is in the midst of birthing like a new path, a new way, a new way to do things, a new way to bring in money, a new, 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 new. Okay, this week, that's what I see. Okay, period. I'm looking at it, you know, but it's all the same, you know. So some of you all... um may have to move pretty swiftly on that as well because what i could see from your pre-shuffle is that something may have broke down unexpected here um avery so um yeah you standing still indecisive but for the most part you gotta move uh pretty swiftly okay in order to like maybe keep up with things because like I said from your pre-shuffle I could see that something may have broke down unexpectedly okay so let's talk about your pre-shuffle let's talk about this truth coming in and like smacking somebody dead in the damn face okay Aries you or somebody else baby but from your pre-shuffle Aries <laughs> The first, like when I, I did two shuffles on the first shuffle, the first thing I thought was like, I'm just wondering when are you going to stop feeling sorry for yourself and move on? You or somebody else. Okay. I can see the, the contemplation here on it though, right here. The moving on because of the release, you know, on the table. But like I said, from your first shuffle, that's the first thing that I thought. When the hell are you going to move on? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You or somebody else, you know, because I sensed from those cars, Aries, that someone here is like <laughs> very sour about um, someone possibly moving on and finding happiness with somebody else. There is some jealousy here about that. Capricorn came up. Gemini came up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo came up, you know, and it just felt like, you know, somebody is like finding it extremely hard to be happy about someone else's situation, you know, possibly with an Aquarius or with a Libra as well. Okay, I remember that did come up too. But, you know, this person who found happiness, you know, it, it, it just seemed like they knew that it was time to move the hell on. You know, Aries, you or somebody else, okay? <laughs> I have to keep saying that, you know, because... I sensed from that first pre-shuffle that this is a very sensitive matter. You know what I'm saying? So I am trying to be sensitive to that. I could feel that energy off of that. But, you know, yeah, some, somebody's just, you know, like I said, finding it hard to be happy for somebody else. But that other person knew that it was time to move on. And, again, strong emphasis on a damn water sign. So it's just like, you know, it, you know, Aries, like the shit has like, it has come out and come around, you know, and someone is just like super bothered, you know, and, you know, I can sit here and say, you know, all I want, like, <sighs> it was time. This person knew it was time, you know. It was fun while it lasted, you know, but now it was time to get off the ride, you know. But I feel like, you know, what really gives me the right to say that because I could also sense that for some of you all, this was just really messed up the way that it all went down. And I feel like some of you all were caught off guard and caught by surprise that someone like moved on as fast as they did. And 
that hurt, you know, it hurts, you know, so who am I to say to get off the damn ride, you know, Aries, if this is you, you know what, baby, you just sit there on that ride. And you pout and cry and shout as long as you need to because we don't need you killing nobody, okay? You know? <laughs> we don't need you killing nobody. So go on, scream it out. Go to the box and read and box it out. Like, because, like, I don't know. It was just something like, you know, but the rage that I saw, you know, I could see that it's essentially because someone wanted to continue working on this situation and they just feel like they were cut off like prematurely or something. And it's just like somebody is like pissed, you know, just pissed. Really, so all of that has caused like, you know, a breakdown, you know, and things. And now, you know, somebody is just like, you know, possibly doing something to like bring happiness back into their life, you know, doing this new thing, going after this new project or something to like bring happiness back into their lives, you know. And so now they are just trying to decide, you know, on what they want to do. Some of you all are trying to decide. Some of you all haven't even left yet. And you're trying to decide if you're going to stay in this situation. Whether this person has moved on or not. A small number of you. <sighs> they don't want to use that. Whatever. You know, yes, some of you all are now focused on your work. Something you always wanted to do, you know, you are trying to like, um, just go after like your dream, something that you're very passionate about. I don't know what you're passionate about, but you letting go of one thing that you're not passionate about. Like maybe you leaving a job for another job because this is what you really want to do. You tired of living your life this way, you know? Working for other damn people. Doing what they want you to do. Making other people happy. You know? You tired of that. Or you just <laughs> tired of not having enough damn money here. Because you're doing for others. You know? You're doing for others. Now, we had athlete come up. We have both of these come up, you know, and this is about these two together. I just see somebody strengthening, strengthening their passion for life, strengthening what it is that they really want to do in life and going after that, you know, especially after whatever breakdown has happened here in a certain situation, maybe like I said, I felt like in a pre-show for that, a lot of this was unexpected. Maybe you are tightening up the structure of your business, the structure of what you want to do, the structure of what has broken down as far as work here on the table. Maybe that requires you going back to school because maybe your ass had to fire somebody that was doing one job and you like, you know what? I can't trust anybody to do this. I got to learn how to do this here. So... I need to go build that muscle, you know. I need to build that muscle in that area, you know. A lot of y'all found out about something that really um, hurt you. And I feel like that came from, from this person right here. Who was probably doing some type of a job here. And... You found out something and had to let them go. Okay. We got Libra up here on the table as well. We got the Empress here. Cancer, uh, no, not Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That came up in your pre shuffle. On the table, we have Libra or Taurus. Okay. Um, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, 
any fire sign, okay? You know, so maybe you, like I said, you found out that, uh, yeah, somebody been, uh, <laughs> doing some faulty shit right here, okay? In the business, but like I said, in the pre-shuffle, I could see relationship as well. But there is no water here on this table right here, right now. Okay. And looking at these cards, for a lot of you guys, a lot, lot, lot of you guys, this is going to be in work and or business projects and things like that. I'm going to say over 90% of you guys, for the others of you, this is going to be love. Okay. This is going to be love. It's going to be love. Yep, work. Work, work and money. Work and money. For a small number of you, relationships. Yep, this is about work and money. Yep. Work and money. But a lot of you are very angry if this is a relationship. You found out by way of gossip. I could see back here. People talking about who done moved on and who they have moved on with. Okay. You don't like the damn person. You feel like they are up to no damn good. Like possibly all they want is money. Um, Looking back here. Okay. That's my cue that I need to stop because I swear. Um, Okay, that noise in the background is leaving. Because when I say it through my whole train of thought, of thought off, and there's more noise that go around me than that. And then that small little piece of noise happened. And I'm like, my whole brain seemed like it just wiped out um, Aries. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, for a lot of you guys, this is going to be in work. There is no water. There is no emotions here on this table. This is really all about decisions because of the breakdown of some situation. Okay. Somebody did something unexpected for others of you. Somebody moved on unexpected. Um, you know, and it, 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 it just is what it is, you know. But this news is coming in or has come in about someone that has been manipulating them situations, be it relationship, money, or business, okay? So, I have no idea what I'm going to name this video, Aries, but there you go, babe. And I will chit-chat with you guys later. Bye. <laughs>